Hey, 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 everybody. What's going on? Welcome to my channel, Tea Girl Magic Tarot. Yeah, yeah. Here to do a reading for my ch ch Gemini. My Gemini. What's going on, Gemini? High vibe cross watchers. What's going on, my lovies? I hope everyone is doing well. I really do. Sending you all the love, light, and healing energy. Okay, life is what you make it, so let's make it a good one, baby. We only got one, okay? You only got one night only. Oh, okay, hold on. I got, I'm already getting downloads already. Let's do the Gemini song and everything and all that. We have to do this, okay? Because there's this, look, this is Gemini's channel. We do the Gemini damn song. So, one, two, three, oh, T girl, tarot, magic and collective. T girl, T girl, T girl, magic and collective. T girl, tarot, magic and collective. Check us out and see what we're about. Ooh, we are Gemini, 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 Gemini. Gemini, we sing Gemini, 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 we are Gemini, 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 Yay! Okay, now we're keeping mind us a general message. It's not going to resonate with everybody or each and everybody or nobody. So only take what fit and leave the rest. And if you want your personal, hit me up. And the details are in the description box below. Now, somebody got messed up. Okay, I, I, when I, I got the download when I heard one night only. There is a feminine energy that's pissed off at you. A masculine left, uh, uh, left her behind. He's unresponsive. Okay, because he's having this magnetic. Okay, so it's a one night stand that somebody's masculine left them for. Because they thought at that time, I don't know if they were under the influence. They were because I did see the crunk card with the drugs and shit. Yeah, and hold on, y'all, because that's what I saw. And then so, oh, that's what's going on. Oh, okay, so I'm picking up. There was a karmic energy that I don't think they stole your masculine away. Your masculine just left because he's shallow. That's the, that's what I'm getting. He he or she is shallow. They left you for money. You didn't have enough money at that time when I seen the financially using you. So you didn't have enough money at that time. Okay, you had blockages in your finances. So then this other feminine energy who knew your masculine or however this goes, they were admiring your person from afar. Okay, your person probably is very attractive. Spirit said, not anymore. Oh, shit. So anyway, there's a feminine energy that's chasing a masculine. Lord have mercy. Oh, my God. Who's chasing penis in 2023 still? Spirit said, a lot of a lot of low vibrators. Okay, okay, okay. Now, we're not calling you, you know, nothing that's not true. You just have to own it and fix it and move on and heal from that. Whoever this... Well, anyway, high vibe Gemini. Whoever you are, male or female, there is somebody chasing your person. Now, if you're a masculine... that. There, and you're in the same sex, there's another masculine chasing your masculine and his feminine energy, okay? They stole them away or whatever. Maybe you're not financially stable at that time. And then that's this other masculine want to come through, okay, and block the blessings because they was offering. They had, didn't have the, because they had the inability to see the bigger picture because they was too busy being materialistic, trying to financially use you. Okay, so that was a blessing in disguise that they're not in your energy anymore. But there is, for my women, there is another feminine energy who's obsessed with your masculine for whatever reasons. They possibly met online when I see the admiring from the far. She set a thirst trap. She set a thirst trap for your masculine energy. Yes, and you're, knowing your masculine likes to overindulge. Whoever this masculine energy, he does too much too fast, okay? He's all very materialistic. This person possibly need, they possibly have a poverty mindset and i'm saying that because when i say living rent free get can't get you out of my head maybe this person stayed with you rent free i don't know what happened something about being lazy and needing a place to stay and a bite to eat but they had a love affair somewhere else where somebody online from afar or whatever they overindulged in that because this karmic says them a thirst trap possibly offered them money and everything and they thought that was like oh yes 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 and they started avoiding you and being unresponsive to you because they thought the grass was greener on the other side and things like that. And yeah, they had a love affair, an intense love affair, and possibly had a baby or a pregnancy outside of that. This from my say this for my um, heterosexual people. Um, but take energy however it goes. This person possibly got babies all over the world, and they possibly house hopping and everything instead of taking care of responsibilities. What they need to do 
They over here laying down, having babies all over the place, overindulging and stuff like that. So anyway, this person's very greedy and materialistic, okay? Stockpiling away, secret stash. So yeah, this this man, this this karmic energy, I'm gonna call it, because we all are karmic at a point of time before we have an awakening and before we do better, okay? So sometimes karmics aren't necessarily bad, because I know I was a karmic at a point of time. And I am walking karma and I'm somebody's karma. So, I mean, karmic is not so bad. It's either good karma or bad karma. But we all do start off on bad karma, okay? Because God says, we, we, he, that's what God said. So when God says, that's how it goes. He doesn't matter what a man thinks is what he thinks he is. You know, and it's what God says at the end. So if God says your ass is karmic, you're karmic, okay? Just learn your lesson, move on, and elevate. That's all you got to do. Ain't no argument about that, okay? Um... The other masculine, whoever left the feminine energy, he thought you was a little bit too much. He thought you was a little bit difficult to please. And maybe he thought you was hiding money and you wasn't giving none to him. Okay, so he tried to use a scare tactic and going off to the other side to be with somebody else thinking you was going to chase their ass. You didn't chase them. And they done had a baby somewhere. Now he Maury, Maury Povich and they come to find out the baby either is or is not theirs. But... The baby's theirs because they're living with the baby mama rent-free from the love affair, okay? Or take it however it goes. What else, spirit? Child. And this karmic is jealous of your beauty, okay? Yes, she's trying to control this person. Okay, so this person's gone. They left. I don't know if this... The, okay, maybe the karmic was trying to block your finances and then their finances got blocked because the energy that they gave out started affecting them. Yeah, yeah. And now this masculine's unresponsive because he's only going with her for money anyway or something like that. But she's too controlling. She's too controlling. He can't have that. This is a masculine that likes to be free. You see all these damn babies. He live rent-free, honey. He just be traveling all over the lands and the nations and stuff, getting caught up in thirst traps because he's thirsty or she's thirsty. So this masculine left this karmic energy on red she's been calling and calling and blowing up their phone like oh my god why are you not calling me why why are you not answering did you move on to the collective because this is you baby you the diva you the real thing and they thought you was way too much to handle you was too hot to try not hot to try you was too hot to handle but now oh my god this person wants to come back so what where's the masculine now spirit so he done left she done left you know the energies take the energies however they go okay so the karmic is mad and they hunting down your person. Your person's literally avoiding them because they're too um, aggressive and too controlling. Okay, this person, they're stressing your person out. We don't give a fuck, but I'm just saying, you know, your person's going through some type of crisis and he's magnetically attracted to you. So he trying to get to you and this karmic's feeling financially used. But bitch, you the one who, who does this? But you offering a grown man all this money. What is wrong with you? And ain't nothing to say you can't help somebody out. But this is a weird dynamic. You trying to... So she... Thirst, thirst trapping. Thirst trapping these thirsty hoes. Maybe, honey, these hoes. And these hoes ain't loyal. No, they ain't. So she gaslit him, honey. And mm -hmm, that's what she did. Because she really wanted to get him. Um, ex inexperienced and overly romantic. See, when people are inexperienced and overly romantic, that's like a naive, that's being, uh, so somebody, your divine mask. Okay, this is divine feminine, divine masculine energy right here. Your divine masculine was love bombing or gaslighting you. He left your ass on red, but there's still some type of magnetic attraction that he can't even get out of your energy because he feel like you're the yin to his yang and then you did at one time feel that they were the yin to your yang mm -hmm. yeah but there's too many differences between you guys okay yeah and this person now has excess baggage okay they have all these problems they possibly caught an ID identity theft case somebody else is fitting the bill so yeah this person's a little scammer i'm getting scamming Okay, they use people financially. That's why he went over to this karmic. She led it. She fell into it. That was her problem, trying to buy a man. How are you going to try to buy a man? That's not, that's not going to work. I don't give a fuck what's going on. And even if it's... Ugh, no one should ever get with people for material things. And that's what a lot of these relationships or marriages are based off. The material. Not to say that you know you don't want your somebody that has their stuff together. But if they're not equally yoked in the spirit... And balancing that part out of it, 
when the money's gone and the looks are gone, then I mean, at the end of the day, what do you have? I mean, the, what, is it love involved? I mean, where's the love? But there doesn't seem any love in this energy. You loved them. They had a love affair. Maybe you and your person started off as a love affair. Okay, it happens, you know? Intense. Very intense. Okay, you overgave to this person. So they just got kind of got lazy a low, low key. Because now they want to live at your house rent free. Maybe when you met them, I don't know, maybe you guys were living together and they, you paid all the bills because you was just being in your overly queen of cups energy, just overextending, overgiving, overindulging too much, too fast. When you meet a man or either this karmic was, that's how she was trying to control chaos with money and overgiving and overdoing too much, too fast to trap this masculine light bombing and gaslighting him being, you know, all those types of things. Now the karma could have left this masculine and y'all take these energies however they go because she got tired of this motherfucking living rent free on the beat of her drum and financially using her, this divine masculine. So he is a user. This motherfucker's a user. Okay, what else, spirit? Some of y'all getting y'all body snatched back up, okay? Getting it together, working out, looking good. But um, I'm also getting somebody got a mental problem. They got too many mood swings. Okay, this karmic got, she, she needs help. She needs attention now. She's like an attention seeker, attention whore. Like, excuse me. Uh, yeah, everything got to be about her. And this man abandoned her. Look, he left. He jumped ship, got out the window and everything. And sometimes maybe if he didn't leave, he just escapes to the online. So he goes online and tries to meet other people. Maybe he's trying to meet his next victim online. You know, this is like a, those online predators. Yes. Because I don't know. I don't know what bougie is, but I got you being diva and bougie, honey. You so fancy, huh? Or maybe this karmic, maybe they thought she was, she had the bag. And she had the drugs, but she, ooh, this, I, 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 why did I just hear, don't go chasing waterfalls, please stick to the rivers and the lakes that you used to, I know that you're gonna have it your way on nothing at all, but I see you moving too fast. Somebody's getting divorced. I don't know if they married this karmic. Somebody refused treatment. Now, I don't know if this could be mental health treatment that somebody is refusing. Or it can literally be don't somebody something else. Don't go chasing waterfalls. It's, um, oh Lord, now they're getting divorced. That's all I know. I can't. That's, that's heavy energy right there. And I can't. While you over here celebrating quietly. Doing your thing, divine feminine. Okay, you're on a mission. You're, you're, to, you're focused and determined. That's why you're in this diva energy and you stockpiling, getting your coin and building up your money. And I don't know whoever reaching out to you, you, honey, you ignoring them. You're unresponsible. Missed calls, left. So somebody, oh, man, somebody, I'm picking up somebody. The doctor is trying to reach somebody, but somebody's ignoring either refusing the treatment or they're refusing the message. They're not listening to the message with their out of their treatment or whatever. So somebody just can't do it no more. But I do feel that they got married to a karmic energy for security, for financial security. Being married to this karmic for financial security because she's so thirsty and in need for attention and all of that. Um, they got trapped up in a sense. You know what I mean? So now he's getting a divorce and maybe he's trying to divorce her for money and stuff because he's weighed down. He's weighed down and he's weighed down by the thoughts of you as well. Why do we need to know any of this? Tell us more spirit. Lord have mercy. Uh-oh. Dirty money. Ooh. I done heard some dirty something dirty. Mm, child, I knew it. This hit the floor. They be doing drugs and everything. She got duty. They got duty. <laughs> they got dirty. Dirty money. And I'm going to just say it. Dirty cooch, honey. I, that's all I can say. And this person's running back to you. <laughs> First of all, ma'am or sir, you're not taking that energy back. I don't care. Dirty money. Dirty something. Somebody going to offer you. If they come back to you in your energy and offer you any type of money, honey, God said, leave that money out of there because it's dirty money. Don't let your ego be too big to fail, okay? Because this money is under investigation. Yeah, you're going to be held hostage and you're going to be feeling like involuntarily controlled if you take this money, okay? Take the money to give them a place to stay. Once you get this spirit, say, once you get this person in your house, you're not going to be able to get them back, get them out, Okay, so be careful who you let into your motherfucking home. Period, poo. This person is very toxic, extremely toxic, okay? Oh my God. And they are coming to you because you're stable and you're fixed. You're fine. 
Just know they got a crazy ass karmic though that's still mad in their energy and everything. Spirit, tell us more. I need to, oh my God, this is a lot. Okay, Spirit, what's going on? Okay, so this lady's controlling this man. They done got married for money and she thirsty. They met online somewhere. He really didn't know her like he did. They were doing a lot of drugs and drinking and sex and stuff like that. This masculine was financially using this karmic, not knowing this karmic had a mental health issue, okay, and or physical health issues, illness. They did a lot of drugs together, okay? She jealous of you because this man's still um, connected to you. She reaching out to him. He ain't reaching out to her. You ain't you ain't even nowhere over here, but just minding your own business, working and getting high and stockpiling your money away. So you, I mean, that's where you at with it. Um, what else? Yeah, he want to take a leap of faith. He trying to find you. Child, he feeling foolish that he didn't cause his own tower. He didn't even use his intuition, just being thirsty and greedy and just selfish and things like that. You know, if you'd stop to think before you make those moves and not be so impulsive, it would stop a lot of heartache, poverty, pain, sickness. All of that just by stopping to reflect and weighing out the options. So now this man trying to move calmer to you. Look, because he going through, because this is after him right now. So I don't like the tower being behind this person after he trying to come back to you because this shit's going to hit the fan from him. Yeah, he trying to get to you because you got that bag. I told you it's very materialistic. And he see you moving forward, being victorious and successful, celebrating from a distance. Mm, mm, and now he all imprisoned in his head and everything because something unhappened with the damn one. Let me, because I've seen it like this. Something unhappened with the damn, look at him. Or he want to come travel and give you some good news, but what good news is he going to give you? Why are you looking at that shit so hard? Look, he all imprisoned in everything in his head about his penis and shit. I mean, don't nobody want it no more. You done fucked it up. Go traveling to a tower and stuff. And now you want to come back. To have a family with you. Child, and give you, don't you take this penis, you hear me? Look at it. Look at it. Look at it good. And hopefully it don't really look like this. Because if that motherfucking penis look like that, honey. Oh, shit. Okay, okay. I cannot make it up. I cannot, and I'm not going to make, I never, and I never want to. This man's shit is fucked up. I don't know if that karma got, child, she, child, when she got on to, off, off of that, this is the end result. That's possibly why another reason Spirit said that they left this karmic behind. Because she is on, she's a thirsty. She needs all the attention, all the attention everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Yeah, honey. And that closed the cycle out for them. Oh, my God. Ooh, Gemini. This is the juice and tea. Mm-hmm. So now he want to come invest in somebody from his, look, he only regret that he mad as fuck that he invested in somebody from his past. And now he's looking back at you, but he can't stop looking at that wand. What you going to think about it when you look at it? Hopefully it don't look like the, um, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> like one of those, um, it reminds me of, um, what did I see the other day? It was an alien. I was watching Godzilla. Was it the Godzilla with Nicole Kidman? And there was this part in the, um, in the jungle that they have these little worm things. I don't know who, I, I barely saw. I was in the nail shop watching it. So I saw, you know, some of it. But there was these little creature worms and insects. Child, I could not be born at that prehistoric age. I don't even know what the fuck that was about. But anyway, the worm, it looked like one of those prehistoric, nasty ass, slimy worm things. That's probably what his shit gonna look like when he come to you because he been letting the devil suck up, suck up on it. Lord, and he like, what the fuck? After she pulled it out of her mouth, honey, he said, what in the hell? I know. We get we grown over here. This is this channel. If you don't like it, bye. 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 You know, but this shit is real. This is how it really goes down. Okay? For real. Let's keep it 100. Some people don't want to keep it 100. That's okay. You. That's what it is. It is what it is. Everything's not for everybody. Okay. What else, spirit? What else? Because I hear some people. Oh, my God. What is it? Yeah. Calm down. Calm down. Because that's exactly what is in this energy, okay? Because you don't act like, you ain't never sucked nothing. But I'm just saying, not to say that you caused this. But I mean, let's just not act like we're all, you know, uh, nuns. We're not nuns, okay? We've all have gotten it in or get, some of y'all still getting it in, okay? And having these towers and things, okay? I got to keep reiterating it. Let's not act like we're poly pure breaded. No one is poly, you're all sitting here, oh, 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 oh. yeah, you are that. I am poly purebred. Absolutely. Do I go around wanding and sucking dick? Hell no. Did I what, at one time in my life? Possibly. Possibly. I'm going to keep it 100. 
in my youthful days, I possibly did, went around and sucked some, a couple of wangers, okay? It is what it is, okay? Don't act like you didn't either. Um, but those days are over, okay? We're moving to calmer waters, okay? Being redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Hallelujah! Yes, we are, yes. So we don't do those things anymore, okay? So we're not going off on anybody that still has done those things. Just know that just because you're an empress and you're a high vibrational creature and you're the, the son of God and you're the light and the daughter of God, don't mean that you haven't had your heyday. You got to have your heyday and, and uh, own up to your darkness before you can even come into the light. But you just don't remain in the darkness and keep doing the same shit over and over and over again and never elevate and come up. Okay, that's the thing. Because I know, you know, I'm just saying, because there's some meat and honey. Let me just tell y'all, okay? But anyway, this person's all in their energy now. They're all in their head. They're stressed out and everything about coming back to you because you see them for who they are. You look at them as a money-hungry person. And now they're like, oh my God, you move forward in victorious and success into your wish fulfillment. And, and I held myself back for you for by being greedy. That's, that's what happened. Mm -hmm. And they did. Well, I, I bet you that you ain't who you was when you met this person no more. I bet you they can't get you to suck it or lick it or touch it or nothing. Okay? It's like hell, F-U-C-K, no. Okay? Yes. Yeah, you single and independent and abundant. You want to stay that way, Gemini. Look at you just shining and glowing and happy and everything. Yeah, and they heartbroken over that because you done ended the cycle with them. Because you're the empress. Empress has sucked some dick before. I promise you. Okay? She's gotten it in a few times. And her shit is still bomb. Don't get it wrong. She didn't overindulge. She didn't do too, too, too much. I'm just saying. She didn't overindulge. She didn't fuck some shit up, okay? Her shit is still right and clean and tight and everything. It's all, you know. And spirits say, this is the truth. This is why she's in this energy. You have to have some experience. You know what I mean? You just can't me not, not know. But anyway, she got it together. You got it together, angels. You did. You ended those cycles of third party playing around. You know, all of this extra stuff, babies. Yes, you did. Good for you. Okay, practicing abstinence. Okay, this person's all in their head right now because they see the transformation that you've gone through. They see it. They see it. Definitely. And they see how you brought balance to their life. I mean, to your life, not their life. Well, you brought balance. You bring balance to everybody's life. This is what the earth angels do. They bring balance. Yeah, they do. Mm-hmm. So now this person is like, oh my God, I laid down to rest my ace of pentacles and now they're angry, pissed off, fussing and fighting, cussing everybody out. This is not a good energy that they're in right now because they didn't know. They feel like somebody bamboozled them, but God said nobody bamboozled them but themselves. Yeah. So that's what's going on. They're, they're, I don't know. So what, what is that karmic energy in? What's she trying to feel and do? I don't know about these ones. What's she trying to, she feeling defeated because he's coming towards you. She feel like he about to give you some type of offer. Look, she feel like he about to give you some type of offer and invest in you. But I, I mean, I wouldn't even worry about that. He invested in from his past. Like I said, so, but you're not going to take it though. So I don't know why she sold it up. Panties in an uproar and everything. Okay, they, they, they need to stay together. That shit's been laid to rest. It's a no, 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 no. Yeah, you don't want it. You don't want it. Okay, this is just too much. You're like all this doesn't make no sense. So, Spirit, what is the end result of all this? Why Gemini's got to know this? So you can know what's going on, how God's working behind the scenes. Yeah, so how God's working behind the scenes. Definitely. This person want to come rushing in. Oh, he feels so bad. But I don't care. I mean, I don't care. You don't care. I'm like, I don't care. I don't. Look, I don't. I don't care about y'all's people. I mean, mine or yours, Gemini. I don't care about, I don't give a fuck how they feeling now after the fact. Because I mean, I'm protective over you guys as well. So it's like, you they're doing this to my children. You know what I'm saying? And um, now you want to come back? Like, no, you stay your ass. You took the leap of faith. Stay up over there and stay gone away because you walking away, period. Okay? Just like how anybody would mistreat your child. Not that you are my literally child, but you are my spiritual children. I love you. Okay? And I fight for you guys all the time. And it's like somebody mistreating your child. I, you would fucking go ham, right? Exactly. Because you know their intentions is to try to come rushing in and rushing off. You don't be coming rushing in and rushing out of my damn baby's life. You stay your ass gone over there because you thought it was happy over there. You stay over in that family funky, 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 funky situation. And that's their justice. That's their karma to never come back and have you block their ass from the happiness because 
They was keeping you caught up too much, okay? They was not appreciating you. They was not loving you the way that you needed and deserved to be loved. You are the empress. You are the child of God. You are the chosen one, okay? And now they're in regret, feeling left out in the cold. And that's cool. We always say you forgive them because you're healing. You could never heal if you didn't forgive. And you do forgive them, okay? But you just don't F with them. You're balancing your emotions now. And you've gone through a transformation, a spiritual awakening, the hermit. And now you're going down a whole nother path to manifest your whole life and your dreams. This person was just a lesson. And they have too much baggage as well, you guys. I mean, they have too many lovers, too many baggage, very materialistic. Their intentions are not good. I'm not saying that they don't love, have love. I'm, they, they don't love you. Love operates in a whole completely different way. It doesn't operate in this this low vibrational way. I don't care how many times if you're nice to me or if you did. Love is an action of feeling and action, not a tingly feeling between the legs. Like, oh, I love you. Oh, 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 no. Love is unconditional. No matter you accept the person for who they are, what they are. But the thing is, you accept them for who they are. You got to, you got to, you got to realize this. You got to see people for who they are before you let them into your energy, before you start accepting anything. God is not accepting this shit. I'm going to keep it 100. He not. He not. Okay? And he don't have to because he already said he wasn't going to accept this. So why are you accepting this? Talking about, well, they made me what they had said. No, you need to see. Open your eyes and go into your third eye and use your damn intuition. Stop being bamboozled and fooled. This is not for everybody, but this is for somebody that want to have an excuse to let the devil in their energy all the damn time. This is not love. Sex is not love. Attachment, addiction, obsession, that is not love. And that's why your ass is feeling mentally entrapped in your head right now because you need to balance out your shit, period. Okay, or you need to end some shit. You need to end these third-party triangles or whatever the case may be. If y'all down for it, good for it. But y'all are still going to be in this energy after you get done having sex. You're still going to feel like you're missing out on something. You're still going to be feeling left out in the cold. Okay, and then you're going to be trying to find the next dick or penis to jump on. Where is it? Where I put it at? You're going to be finding the next penis. You're going to be feeling left out in the cold. And then for your emotions, because you're emotionally imbalanced, you're going to want to fill that void. And then you're going to be trying to find the next dick to hop on or penis to get in or whatever the case may be. You're going to be finding that, thinking that's your happiness very temporarily until it's over and it's done. And then all of a sudden you're feeling like this again. So when are you going to fucking end the cycle and get to karma waters? And start loving your motherfucking self and get into your wish fulfillment so you can move forward in happiness and success. When? When, I ask you. Okay? So anyway, I'm done. Spirits say they done. Okay, they done fussing and cussing. Because spirit do do that. I don't care what y'all think or say. My ancestors, especially my grandmother. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. But she loved God for real. Then don't, don't get the smooth taste for you because she will, will pop. She's one of the grandmothers that will pop out a pistol in her purse if you got on her nerves. Okay? And then she say the spirit talking about killer, killer, killer. You know what, Grandma? I'm done with you. She said, but I never did. I know you didn't because you would go straight to hell, Grandma. Okay? I had to let her know that. It would be ending for you. And you would go see him downstairs. So she like, no. So she had to heal. <laughs> Okay, it's time to heal and have love. And now she's the queen of cups and everything. And that's why she's my ancestor. <laughs> but anyway, Gemini, I love you so much. Okay, that's what's going on in your energy. I hope this gave some type of clarification. But whatever was said needed to be said to whoever messages it needs to be. Everybody's not going to be the whole message from one person. Absolutely not. It's going to spread differently for everybody. So anyway, I'm going to end the reading right there, my angels. And I hope it helps. I hope you have an amazing day. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.